this episode, we are heading back to two CEX stores to try and find some awesome steelbooks to add to the collection and find out if we strike steel or strike out steelbook hunting in CEX. Thanks and welcome back to another episode of Steelbook Hunting in CEX. If you did not know, CEX charge the same amount for a majority of games for the Steelbook version as they do the standard version. But the only issue is there is no way to check the stock of these Steelbooks in your local CX. You just have to go in there, roll the dice and take the gamble. And that's what we're doing today in two brand new CX stores. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe as I put new videos out every Saturday live at 5, as well as bonus content throughout the week and I really want you folks along for the ride. Now, on to our first CX. We're starting off our hunt this time in Great Yarmouth and straight into the Xbox 360 section. Now this is a reasonably large CEX store so hopefully we can find some steelbooks hidden within this section. So the big question whenever you go into a CEX for the first time steelbook hunting is whether they have the steelbooks on the shelf or whether they have the kind of Blu-ray style replacement cases that just say to take it up to the till. Obviously it's a lot easier if the steelbook is on the shelf because you can judge the condition straight off the bat. If not, then you have to take that case up to the counter to see what condition the steelbook's in. And this is always the gamble of steelbook hunting. Continuing in the Xbox 360 section, and to be fair, this is a fairly large section, but of course we are looking for steelbooks today, and so far, no luck. Now, Halo's normally a good go-to because they made a lot of Halo steelbooks, but unfortunately, nothing here. Just continuously looking through, even if I haven't found some weird games like Grease for Connect, the game that I honestly didn't even think existed before today, but unfortunately, it does look like we are going to strike out in the Xbox 360 section, but there is a few more sections we can search in this store. As I said, this is a reasonably large CEX, so let's hope in the next section we find some steelbooks. Next up, we're checking out the PlayStation section, starting with the PlayStation 5. And I don't think I've ever seen a steelbook for the PlayStation 5. I may be totally wrong, and if I am, then please let me know down in the comments down below. But here is the thing. Of course, when you go into CX, you cannot check online to see if they have any steelbooks in store. You just have to go in and check them out. But remember, they are the same price as the standard version of the game. And this is the entire gamble of steelbook hunting in CEX. You never know what you're going to find. You just have to delve into these sections and hope for the best. Now, normally one the better ways for looking for steelbooks in CEX is going through some of the bigger franchises such as the Batman games, the Battlefield games, the games that are fairly sizable print runs and I know have a steelbook and here's the thing I know they exist but it's just finding the steelbooks. So I've been looking for the Doom steelbook for absolute ages and again it does look like in the PlayStation 4 section we may strike out because here is the thing, there is lots of people looking for these steelbooks and normally a lot smaller print runs of steelbooks than the standard version of the game. But this is kind of the thing, you have to keep looking in the CEX stores, hitting up as many as possible. It's all about getting those numbers. Next up we have the Xbox Series X section. I do like the fact that they do keep the Series X and the Xbox One games separate as, to be honest, it can be a little bit confusing which games are for which console, especially as more and more games become exclusive to the Xbox Series X. Now I do always look through some of these kind of slip cases in case there is a steelbook hiding inside with a Bioshock collection, but again, it doesn't look like we're having much luck until here on the top shelf we have a steelbook I've been looking for for a while, the Forza steelbooks, but my Gosh, look at the state of this steelbook. It looks like somebody has bludgeoned somebody with this steelbook. I am. This is one of the problems of steelbook hunting in CEX. Literally, they will take any steelbook regardless of condition. They can be damaged, they can be rusty, they can be scratched. But here is the thing to remember, you do get these steelbooks for the same price as the standard version of the game. So when you do find a steelbook in good condition, these are an absolute steal, for lack of a better term. One of our final hopes for Great Yarmouth then is the PlayStation 3 section. And I'm quite hopeful to find some steelbooks in here because as well, this is a section that's getting cheaper and cheaper for a lot of these tiles that were split across multiple consoles this generation. And one of the advantages is with a lot of the console games from this generation, I did mainly buy them for the Xbox 360 rather than the PlayStation 3. So if I find some of these kind of bigger franchises that are released across multiple consoles, I'm more likely to pick up the steelbook for the PlayStation 3 because 
I don't have that game for the console. Obviously, when it comes to steelbook collecting, sometimes you will have multiple versions of a game. For example, like Call of Duty, I think I have two or three versions of some of those Call of Duty games, but that's the thing. With the steelbooks, you can't miss a bargain. It looked like we weren't going to have any luck in Great Yarmouth until I found, hiding in the PC section of all places, this Silent Hunter 4 steelbook. And this is a big old steelbook and an absolute bargain at £2. And this steelbook was heavy, but this thing was absolutely packed with content. And it just goes to show, when you are steelbook hunting in CEX, you have to check absolutely everywhere or you'll miss out. Next up, we are headed to King's Lynn CX, and this is a pretty big store, so fingers crossed we can find a few more steelbooks in here. As you can see, and this is a really large store, and check out this massive PlayStation 4 section. Yes, I know I'm going to do this reverse alphabetically, it's just because it was the first place I jumped into in the store. And go down this first shelf, and unfortunately nothing here. Check it at the bottom, because sometimes they have some really cool WWE Collector's Editions in CX, which I don't charge much more for. I don't know if I do a steelbook of Watch Dogs. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. Remember, I also don't know when we first go in this store if they have steelbooks on the shelf or if they have the kind of Blu-ray replacement case where you have to take them up to the counter. And so far, it's not looking too great through our second shelf of PlayStation 4 and still, sadly, nothing to see here. Checking around the Grand Theft Auto section because I know there is a Grand Theft Auto steelbook, but... Again, it's not looking very good. There wasn't one in the kill zone section, which is a real shame as this is a really, really cheap steelbook and a really cool one if you can find it. Just two pounds for a steelbook. Elder Scrolls, I think they do some steelbooks for that, but I haven't seen them before. Of course, FIFA do steelbooks, but again, sadly, no luck here. But this is the entire thing with steelbook hunting in CX. You never know if you're going to find anything or everything you saw in that first episode i picked up a lot of steelbooks but it is very very it's it's all about which stores you go to and at the end of the day because you can't check online you just don't know what's gonna be in here like there wasn't even a destiny steelbook which is i'm confused i haven't found the destiny steelbook yet i thought that's what i would have found really early on in this series but still nothing found here so unfortunately no luck with the playstation 4 maybe we'll have a bit more luck in the playstation 3 section and we'll just scroll through these. This was a pretty large section once again, but there was a lot of games here multiple times, as you can imagine. There's a lot of Red Dead Redemptions, a lot of Call of Duties, a lot of Grand Theft Autos. And yes, I understand, I'm probably more part of the problem than the solution with this, because these are good games to flip into CX if you pick them up cheaper, charity shops, car boots, etc. And yes, I have been exploiting that for absolutely years. But today we are looking for steelbooks, and unfortunately, on the looks of it, there isn't going to be anything in the PlayStation 3 section, which is a real shame because a lot of these PlayStation 3 steelbooks are getting harder to find and more expensive. I've never seen this infamous special edition before. I was wondering if this was going to be a steelbook, but it was a little bit bad. So no luck in the PlayStation section so far. Let's see if the Xbox sections fare any better. Now again, the Kingsland CEX has a fairly sizable Xbox 360 um, array, which is quite nice because this is a section of most CX stores around the country which is getting smaller and smaller, which is a shame as the Xbox is a fantastic console to collect for. See what I mean? There's a lot of Call of Duty's in here. And not a single steelbook. All of those Call of Duty games are whole two shelves full and no steelbooks. That's a real disappointment as I think I said earlier in this episode, I'm one or two Call of Duty steelbooks away from getting the full set. I'd really like to find the last ones for the collection. Like I said then, this was a fairly sizable Xbox 360 section. It doesn't look like we're going to find any steelbooks, which is a real shame. But even if you're not looking for steelbooks, this is a fantastic time to collect for the Xbox 360. As, to be honest, I don't think it's going to get any cheaper. I think now is the cheapest time to collect for the Xbox 360. And in the next few years, I think it's going to get much more expensive. Even games like this, the Halo 3 Limited Edition, are cheap now. So grab now while you can. So we're about halfway through the Xbox 360 section. So far, all we had found was that Halo 3 Collector's Edition, and that thing was pretty bad and also missing its slipcase. But thankfully, I do already have that in the collection. But I think now is a great time to be hunting for these steelbooks for the Xbox 360 because, as I said, so many of these games are so cheap. And slowly, all of these collector's editions, steelbooks, and even games are going to get into the hands of collectors. So now is really the time to kind of pick the titles you must have in a collection for any console because as i said this is a very cheap time to collect for the xbox and the only way is up 
One thing that does surprise me about Kings Lynn CEX is how small their Xbox One section is compared to the Xbox 360 and even compared to the PlayStation 5. But let me know in the comments down below, does your local CEX have one or two sections which are much bigger or much smaller than the others? Like, I'm sure a lot of places have a small GameCube section, a small Wii U section, but normally I find the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, the PS4 and the Xbox 360 are all fairly similar. Now I think in the coming years the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 sections will definitely get a lot bigger, but I do think the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 sections will shrink. So far the Kingsland CEX had been a bit of a bust, but I cannot believe I found not one, but two Resident Evil 4 steelbooks in the PlayStation 2 section. Now this is one I definitely want to pick up at some point, but because it's one of my favourite games from one of my favourite franchises of all time, when I pick this up it needs to be absolutely pristine. Yes, these do look pretty good, but they still had some dents and some little rust patches, so I did pass. Now there was one other steelbook hiding here, it was the King Kong Special Edition. Now I didn't pick this up because friendship is more important than steelbook hunting in CX. I did pass it on to my friend, PS Too Many Games, he was missing this one from his collection and, you know, <laughs> I'm helping him out. He's going for the full PlayStation 2 collection, he needs all the help he can because that is an absolute crazy goal, but I gotta admit, I am a little bit jealous of this one. Now, so far, I hadn't managed to find any steelbooks that I can actually add to my collection in CEX here in Kings Lynn, but they do have one of the biggest Blu-ray and DVD sections I have seen in any CEX store in the entire country. On my trip so far, I don't think I've found a DVD section bigger than this, and they even have a massive sports section which has a lot of wrestling DVDs and Blu-rays. Now. I have found some really nice wrestling steelbooks in the past, so I'm hoping I can find some here today. Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, I am mainly going to be looking for video game based steelbooks in this series, but let me know if there's enough interest. I'll also start looking for movie and DVD, even TV series like Blu rays, especially wrestling ones. Wrestling ones I probably will put in here because they are fairly uncommon. As you can see, I don't think there's any here. But then, having a close look, there is one steelbook hiding here. It is Survivor Series 2009. Not a pay-per-view that really lives in infamy in my mind. I did pass on this one because it's not the most fantastic pay-per-view of all time. And I am trying to stick to games. We are then back in the games room from those two CEX stores. And so far, we have found one steelbook game. And no, no, I am not going out like that. For one time only, again, I'm going to hit up my local CX store here in the fine city of Norwich and find out if we can still strike steel. Here we go then, one more time, CEX in Norwich, straight into the PlayStation 4 section and straight to some steelbooks. This is the crazy thing, maybe I'm just really, really lucky in Norwich. Maybe like most CEX stores around the UK, just don't have as many steelbooks as my Norwich store does. There's more on this one shelf than there was in the whole of those two CX stores we already visited. But I guess we'll see as this series continues if most CX stores don't have steelbooks or if it's just kind of hit and miss because I think that's one of the biggest things with steelbook hunting in CEX, it is a gamble. And some of these games I don't actually recognize. Like, I don't know this Final Fantasy game, so I'm not really gonna take a risk on it as 32 pounds. I did have a look at the steelbook when I went up to the counter and it was a really, really good looking steelbook, but Hopefully the game will come down in price in the next few months so I can pick that one up. It's crazy to me. You can pick up a copy of the Fallout 4 Steelbook for £2. That's just straight in my hand because £2 for any Steelbook is going to be worth it. As I can't remember if I've said it this episode already or not, even if you're not looking to keep these Steelbooks in your collection, most Steelbooks will sell on eBay for at least £5. Obviously eBay prices go up and down, but steelbooks seem to sell for decent prices. So if you are looking to flip, if that is what you like to do, then it can be still an option to pick these steelbooks up in CX. Again, no kill zone luck here. I tell you, I am going to find that kill zone 
steelbook. I'm really looking for that one. Here's what I've been looking for as well for a while, so hoping that one's in good condition because remember, as these are these Blu-ray kind of stand-in boxes on the shelf, I have no idea what condition these are in until I get to the counter. Moving on from some success in the PlayStation 4 section, let's head to the Xbox section. And straight away again, we find a steelbook on the first set of shelves. It is this Yakuza Like a Dragon. And this is a game I'm looking to pick up for for a while, but spoiler alert that one wasn't in very good condition i'm not going to tell you the condition of all of these until the end you will i have to stick around to find out which ones of these steel books i did pick up because i can afford to be picky with these i know i'm going to be hitting up a lot of cx stores in the future and if there's a steel book in not fantastic condition then hopefully the next time i find it at a different store it will be in good condition and there's just so many of these steelbooks I'm looking for, and some of these I'm really looking for at the moment is Forza, and thankfully there's not one, but two steelbooks here, because some of these older Forza games are getting quite expensive now, and I think now is the time to pick these up cheap, because as soon as they seem to come off Games Pass, due to licensing issues, some of these games get much, much more expensive. This is one I see around quite often, so hopefully we can pick this one up in good condition. Wish me luck. Now, unbeknownst to me, this is going to be the most exciting steelbook we pick up this time. Middle Earth Shadow of War for just £3. And you will have to stick around until the pickup's the end of this video to find out why this is one of the most exciting steelbooks I've ever found in CX. And for just £3. Three pounds, but the deals are definitely out here. Like ten pound once again for a steelbook is a really good price. And just look at the absolute stack we are building up. Going back to the PlayStation 4 section because I missed a bit of this section earlier. It's a bit weird how my CX is laid out now. It has PlayStation 4 over about two massive shelves just because the section is so big. Now with some of the cheaper steelbooks, I will take a gamble. But this one was fifteen pounds. I've never heard of this game, but. Am I missing out on a fantastic deal here? Let me know in the comments down below if you would have picked that one up. With some of these, it's all about the waiting game. Yes, I want to play Company of Heroes free, but I'll wait until it's cheaper. So I'd had some really good luck in the PlayStation 4 section. Hopefully that luck would continue in the PlayStation 3 section. But unfortunately, scanning this section here, there was no steelbooks to be found. I do always have a good look in case I miss anything, but this section is sadly getting smaller, much like the Xbox 360 section in my local CX here in Norwich, but there's still some steelbooks to be found, even though some of these I've already added to the collection, but there's still bargains to be had, like this Halo one, £1.50. Yes, I'm going to pick that up. That is what I mean. You can still get some absolute banging bangers for cheap in CX. Now this was probably the last place I expected to find a steelbook in CEX in the 3DS section of all places. Now again, I don't know a lot about this Dragon Quest game and for £65 I did pass, but let me know in the comments if you would have grabbed this one. So that was Norwich CEX and it definitely saved us, this time steelbook hunting in CEX. And just as a final thought, look at the massive selection of steelbook movies they had in my local CEX store. I am so lucky to have this as my local. Let's go back to the pickups. Here we are then back in the game, so it seems the gamble did pay off. It was definitely worth hitting up my local CEX store in Norwich. But here's the thing, you never know what steelbook's going to be in store. As you can see, in the first two CEX stores, we nearly struck out. The only game I managed to pick up in the Great Yarmouth store was this PC steelbook as such, Silent Hunter 4. And this thing is absolutely ginormous, but... For £2, I couldn't pass this one up because, if nothing else, it has some of the craziest contents I've ever seen in a steelbook. So starting from the top, we have this kind of little journal for the game, which is kind of cool. Then we have kind of maps, postcards, and the controls for the game, I think, in this little kind of ring binder here. Then we have a submarine documentary film, because, you know, if you're playing a game like Silent Hunter, you're probably a fan of submarines. Then we have the official soundtrack recording, which is pretty cool. Then we have the DLC for the game, which again is pretty cool. Like to have the mission packs on a physical disc is something you would not expect of Ubisoft of all game companies. And of course, a copy of Silent Hunter 4. Now, I think for £2, this is a real steelbook win. Let's move on to the Norwich CEX store then. So when we went to the counter, we had a grand total of nine steelbooks. Which is crazy considering the other two CX stores we went to, we only managed to pick up one steelbook. But 
Here is the thing, when you pick up these kind of Blu-ray cases, you have no idea what condition the steelbooks are going to be in, and unfortunately those nine have gone down to five. Even though two of those were Forza games, both of those were absolutely wrecked. But we still have five steelbooks to add to the collection. There's some real bargains and some real beauties in here. So first off, we have Fallout 4 for the PlayStation 4, which is crazy because it came actually packaged with a standard copy of the game. Like, I know... This game is virtually valueless now, but I'm still a massive fan of the Fallout franchise. And I think this is a really nice looking steelbook. I like the fact the kind of design goes from the front to the back. And even inside here, it has some postcards from Fallout 4. And this one was super, super cheap as well. And it just goes to show steelbook collecting in CX doesn't have to be expensive. Like I said, steelbook hunting in CEX doesn't have to be expensive. This is the most expensive game we picked up today for £6.13. Now, I know this game's had a lot of bad press, but I really wanted to check it out as I really enjoyed it back in the day. But if nothing else, this is one of the best looking steelbooks I have ever seen. And it's in absolutely amazing condition. Like, just check this out again. It has some postcards inside, but this, for me, is definitely one of the best looking steelbooks I've ever seen. Next up, we have Middle Earth Shadow of War for the Xbox One. Now, again, this is a really cheap game, but this is an interesting one, as this is a Tesco exclusive. Now, I have seen other steelbooks of this game, and, spoiler alert, they do not have the same design. Like, when I took it to the counter, they were surprised at how cool this one was. I think the person on the counter also said this is definitely a different steelbook, which is really interesting, as I never expected it to be Tesco-exclusive steelbooks. Next up, we have this cheeky little £1.50 number, Halo 4 for the Xbox 360. Now, this is a really interesting steelbook, not by design, because it's pretty plain, but it's actually textured. Like, these bits are, like, raised up from the steel, but... I would like to know if you know in the comments down below, should this one have had a sleeve that goes over it? I'm not overly concerned as it is one of my least favourite Halo games, but for £1.50, I had to pick this one up. Like I said then, I took nine steelbooks up to the counter and came away with five because sadly four of them were in really bad condition. But here is the biggest tip to take away from this video. If you're ever looking for steelbooks in CEX, always ask if they have any more behind the counter. In these two episodes, it has paid off both times, as this time I managed to get another two steelbooks from behind the counter that weren't on the shelf. So first off, we have Rainbow Six Siege for the Xbox One again. And this one again was super duper cheap. It does need a little bit of goo gone to remove some of the sticker damage. It may not be the most exciting steelbook of all time, but this is a game I don't think I had in the collection. And for two pounds, I'm really happy to add this steelbook to my steelbook collection. Our final steelbook this time comes from a franchise which I believe possibly has the most steelbooks of any video game franchises. It's of course Call of Duty and here we have another one to knock off that list. The Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered Double Pack. Now I never knew they did a steelbook for the Legacy Pro edition of these two games and to be fair it's pretty cool. One side we have Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and the other side we have Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, I genuinely believe they've done a steelbook for every single game in the Call of Duty franchise. And to be honest, it's a set I'm really excited to complete as I think it's fairly realistic as there were so, so many copies of these steelbooks made. There we have it then, folks. The gamble definitely paid off. Heading into my local CX store in Norwich, we managed to add a further six steelbooks to the collection, as well as that copy of Silent Hunter 4 I found earlier in the store in Great Yarmouth. And it goes to show you never know what's going to be in your local CX store, so it's always worth keeping up the hunt. So for those six steelbooks, they came to the low, low price of just £19. And it just goes to show it is worth checking your local CX for these steelbooks because that is the exact same price it would have been to pick up these games in their normal cases. And I think that's an amazing, amazing deal. There we have it then, folks. That is another episode in the bag. And if you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, subscribe, and join us next time, Steelbook Hunting in CX, to find out if we strike out or strike steel. See you soon.